How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and it's been a while since I've been to Goodwill. In fact, this is the first time entering a Goodwill since before the uh, pandemic hit to see what kind of games they have, and as luck would have it, they have a few. Uh, no cartridge-based games. My local Goodwill, all cart-based games go to the website, theshopgoodwill.com, and I've gotten a couple of good deals there in the past. Uh, however, any disc-based games, um, they'll just put right on the shelf, including Need for Speed Carbon. we got a couple of Wii games we can check them out really quickly. I uh, don't know if I need any Wii games today, but here's, uh, you know, God of War Ascension for PlayStation 3. Might be worth checking out. Might be worth grabbing that one. And the Goodwill, at least my location, oh, look at this. WWE All-Stars. Xbox 360. Um, mine does a flat rate on, like, all games. It says, like, all games, no matter what they are, uh, you know, like, $2.99, $3.99 whatever the price is. So, you know, when I see something like, you know, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, might be worth setting aside. When I see something like South Park, The Stick of Truth, PlayStation 3, I mean, why not? But, you know, there's Tetris World to see that one. The Prince of Persia, maybe, interesting. And here's something interesting, Rayman 2. Now, Rayman 2, it's a game I don't have. Feels a little hefty, too. Turns out the manual's still in there. Yeah, it might be worth grabbing that one. I'll grab Rayman 2. I like the Rayman games. I'm a big fan of those. I mean, even games like Sly 2, I mean, I could probably use that for trade bait later on or bring it to a convention or something, so... I mean, but Jack 3, another game as well. I mean, nah, there's no manual, but still, might be worth grabbing. Oh, what about Hit and Run? Mega Man. This is when they had all the games on one disc. Gotta love that. Can't go wrong with Wolfenstein. Now, here's an interesting one. Sh uh, Shadow Ops Red Mercury. A game, admittedly, I hadn't heard of. Looks cool, though. Looks like it might be worth something. I mean, as far as, you know, play value goes. Uh, and then, so, every once in a while, I'll find like this. You know, Peter Pan on Blu-ray. Huh. Looks like in great condition, too. Pfft, Mariah. Get out of here, Mariah. Uh, now, this one here, uh, the SmackDown vs. Raw 07. It's one of the best ones. It, it may be the best SmackDown vs. Raw game, too. I already have one, but, you know, cool to see. Fun seeing uh, this Kingdom Hearts here, too. That, that's Shadow of Memories or something. All right, let's, well, let's look at the VHS, because the VHS has been catching my eye here, because I saw some complete collections here, including Star Trek, the movies, uh, Black Adder, the entire Monty Python's Flying Circus collection, <laughs> which I have on DVD, but, I mean, fun to see on VHS as well. And then look down here. Do you see what I see? Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Didn't see Star Wars down there. But these are, like, are in great-looking condition. And then, come on, I'm a huge retro otaku, old-school anime fan. Look at all these. Rod in the One Half, one of my favorite anime series. Could be my favorite anime series of all time. Ton of VHS. And there's something about watching anime on VHS that I still enjoy. I can watch Ranma. I mean, Ranma's available on Hulu, the entire series. And what about Giver? The Giver's on there? A couple of random things for Fushigi Yugi. Some of the card captors. For card captor Sakura. There's a Slayers movie down there, I see. Some of these here. Here's a look at, you know, Plastic Little. <laughs> Bubblegum Crash, so cool. I was a big fan of those too. This is like, you know, taking me all the way back to when I first started watching anime, where it was all like Ranmo and half. I mean, these all came from video stores too. So this is like, you know, someone's old video store collection. <laughs> and love finding stuff like this. So I picked up uh, Biohunter as well as a bunch of Ranma. I remember many of these too. Some of the series, some of the OAVs, a couple of the movies. Like that's one of the special ones there. Um, I love this character. That's a fun one. Uh, this was still sealed, so figured why not. Um, Slayer's motion picture. I mean, I think I have it on DVD, but cool to have the VHS as well. Uh, the games I picked up. God of Ascension, got Sly 2, Rayman 2. Um, not only is it, it's like a $20 game or something like that, but it's, it's a game I didn't have, so looking forward to checking that out. Uh, Jack 3, can never go wrong, of course, uh, San Andreas. Um, replacing my old copy of that. All six Givers, and these are these are definitely from uh, video stores here. You see Hollywood Video there. They came from a Hollywood Video, looks like in Seattle, maybe. I'm not sure, uh, but six Giver. It's dubbed. I prefer subtitled, but that's all right. And then a couple of the uh, Star Wars films on VHS, in great call, uh, great condition here on these. Looks like as far as uh, the boxes go, a little tear there. Looks like yeah, it's all good. Um, not the first one, but Empire and Return of the Jedi, and paid a total of. $38. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, and it was kind of fun, and it was just super cool to see Ranma. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a retro otaku for sure, so we'll see what, uh, see what, see what holds up next time.